In this set of videos, we're going to learn a little bit about Bootstrap. So if we bring up our Visual Studio, we'll just start a new project. Uh, Model View Controller application next. And we'll just call it Bootstrap Fun. Next. And then uh, 3.1, we'll create. You know the drill. And then again, the first thing I'll do is just go in and clean up the project a little bit um, with this with these things that we're not using in particular. So in the home controller, I'm going to go get rid of those extra methods, privacy and error. Get rid of the iLogger. And not that we need to do any of this. Um, those things may actually be useful in the future, but for us, just trying to keep it clean and only use what we're using. So I'll delete this model. The views come in, delete the privacy view. And then the shared folder, delete those validation scripts and error. Okay, and then the shared layout, just again to kind of make things a little cleaner, I'll take out the header and the footer, leave in the rest. All right, so save that. And now we're gonna edit our index file. And so I'll come in here and delete out what's in there. And as we uh, go through this process of just learning a little bit about Bootstrap and in particular grids in Bootstrap, um, this history of CSS, I mean, it used to be that you didn't style the page at all, right? You just create your web page. They all had that kind of that look of the old 90s style website, right? And, um, and then we started to get some what's referred to as inline styling. So you could make a certain line bold or italicized or, uh, you know, put certain effects on it, but it was all done within the tag itself. So you would say, put a bold around this this paragraph tag and that would make that text bold. Well, as websites, you know, became as everybody started to get a website and it all evolved, then people wanted to make them look better. And so there was a lot more styling that was applied and you started doing a ton all through the website. Well, that was kind of a pain because then you create a new page, you'd have to do all that styling again. And if you styled a paragraph one way, you know, up early in the page, then you'd have to style it you know, every time you do a new paragraph, you'd have to style it that way. And those were painful days from a styling perspective. And so uh, pretty soon we moved to where we had page styling. And you could say, you know, apply this to the whole page. Any paragraph on the page or any heading on the page or whatever is going to look like this. And you'd set up those those uh, those uh, class level styles, the, the, what do you call them? <laughs> the, the HTML, you know, on the page itself, which was pretty short lived because then we um, moved to this model where we used uh, CSS files. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And uh, so what we did is we put all the styles into a separate file and then we just linked to that file for a particular page to go get the styles for that page. And so you've worked with this, I assume, uh, but I wanted to give just kind of a brief little history to introduce us to this topic. And so now we say in the body, we're going to format it like this in this separate CSS file. So in this case, we have a you know site CSS file, and it provides some formatting. Well, actually, a fair amount. Um, you know, the the body is going to have a, a margin of 60, and the you know and the top you know is going to be there's a border at the top, one pixel solid. It's got all this stuff um, that is for this particular uh, site. In fact, for the purposes of what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all this too. I hadn't thought about that, but that's probably a good idea to get rid of all this so that we're only seeing um, the the um, bootstrap itself. So I'll delete that as well and save it. So I want to have the site CSS file still, but we'll delete everything that's in there. Anyway, that was why well, I shouldn't have deleted it so quickly, but um, <laughs> because I was just talking about this, but now we have the styles applied to the, too late, can't control Z. 
we, we create these styles that are applied to the entire whatever page is linking to it. And that way we can apply that to every page on our site and it gets this nice consistent look. And, and if we modify anything, we modify it in the one CSS file or you know you can have multiple CSS files but we modify it in the CSS file and then it applies those changes across our site wherever those uh, styles are used and so anyway all of that is a lead up to that when we use bootstrap um, so here in the library bootstrap it's just it's just a style sheet there's nothing special about it it's just one big library of style sheets so if I come into bootstrap.css it just says you know, at the HTML tag, apply these styles. At the body tag, apply these styles. Um, headers, apply, apply these styles. And so it goes in, and, and paragraph, it goes in and, and somebody's just built a giant library over time. And not just somebody, by the way. It was built by some Twitter developers originally to have this nice big library, to have this nice consistent look across, across the sites. And eventually they open sourced it and it's been added to and and uh, you know and many developers have looked at it and added stuff to make it look nice and then it's constantly updating with, with the times and so we get new versions of bootstrap that uh, you know keep consistent with the look right and so if we're constantly you know bringing in new versions of bootstrap in fact we can uh, link in the project we can either bring it in like we've done manually here uh, it's included with the ASP.NET project, but we could just download it and bring it into our project here, um, like this with actual files, or we can link to the online version called the CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Networks. Um, anyway, it, that's a link. And so if we link, rather than linking to any file here specifically on our computer, if we link to the file up on the server, then as they make changes, then your styling in your website gets constantly updated as well. Now that's somewhat of a dangerous way to live because if they change something, it's out of your hands, you know, it just changes and then your website may be broken, you have to go fix it. And so, you know, a lot of times we'll just get the files into our actual site. Um, but the point here is that Bootstrap is just one big CSS library that's that's meant to be shared and and you know to help us in the design of our website so they don't look like the 1990s website. So with that as an introduction, um, let's go ahead and get started on just one of the main elements. Now I'm not going to talk to you about everything in Bootstrap. First of all, I don't know it. Second of all, there's just a ton to know of all the different things we can do. I mean, you can just go through and look at all these different things. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm, I can't possibly cover even you know a small portion of it in this set of videos. But one of the things that's most important, one of the things that I learned that was helpful for me as I was uh, trying to learn Bootstrap was this idea of the Bootstrap grid system. And so that's what we're going to be talking about. Uh, in this series of videos is how that grid system works for us to help lay out our site. All right, see you in the next video. Spencer out.